to know your fellow humans in the game Top Tale by Yub Nub Games. It plays mm, ages 14 and up, four or more players, and takes about a half an hour to really as long as you'd like to play the game. And in this game, you're basically going to be drawing cards, answering questions, and going around the table and reliving or telling stories. And then players are going to do voting. This functions similarly to games like Cards Against Humanity and Apples to Apples and quite a few other variations of that type of game. But in this one here, it's all based on personal storytelling, attempting to make these stories comical or interesting or very unique, in which case everybody but yourself is going to hopefully vote for you and you're gonna score points via the cards that you get. Now, like I said, this is a story game it's a personalized storytelling game that involves you trying to relay information to everyone around the table and it works very well if you're playing with a lot of people I'll just go ahead and show you really quickly down below what comes in the game will come up and then I'll discuss the game in a little more detail and then you can decide whether you want to pick up the game top tail by yub nub games down below in the description currently on Kickstarter here's what comes in the game top tail this is the original gangster volume one and you're going to be getting a box, the rulebook, the cards for the game, which have a bunch of questions on them, and of course, they'll have some flavor text, as well as extra cards that you can go ahead and do as you will with them, writing down your own flavor text and your own questions. And like I said, this game is about getting to know your fellow human, so your objective is simply to draw a card from the deck and then go ahead and answer the question as honestly as possible, in which case everyone else will do the same, and then everyone will judge based on who they think story is the best told, in which case, after that, you're then going to win the card if you had the most votes. This one here is the most disgusting thing I've ever had to clean, or the stinkiest thing I've ever had to encounter. The thing I ate uh, on a dare, a, a, a gift I really hated, the strangest place my pet ended up, uh, the most un unusual event while on a plane. Here's an extra bonus one. My favorite memory from elementary school, the most interesting person I know, the scariest person I know, the most special time with my mom, and so on and so forth. These are all questions. They're not extremely personal. They're not going to ask you like political things or religious things, but what they will do is ask you interesting and unique personal stories that are best told by you in something that you can make either comical or unique or entertaining in some way. My most interesting place I've ever had, I've ever got to visit. And then I can just tell a story about the last time I was in Japan and what I got to do in Japan and how all the, I, all the, all the people I met and all that good stuff and so on and so forth. And this is a game in which you're going to get to know your fellow human like it states. It's very st straightforward. It's a conversation that's going to give you a blueprint as to what to discuss. There are a bunch of little cards in the game as well as of course as you play the game you'll be able to make your own cards add them to the pile and you'll play as much as you want you can play up to five cards you can play in teams and you can pretty much have a bunch of different little variants the instructions are very clear cut very easy to understand you can learn how to play the game all into us one little page right here but they have some optional rules some variants and the tiebreaker rule which is pretty simple if more than one player is uh, tied for some reason, you'll draw an extra card from the deck. Those players will answer the card the best they possibly can. And then whoever wins that tie is going to get both cards. But otherwise, that's pretty much the game. Top Tail, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's come up and discuss what I think about it. Top Tail is a game all about dialogue and storytelling. And of course, attempting to be entertaining while learning about your fellow humans that are around the table. This is a great icebreaker game it's a great game to sit down and play with somebody you don't know, and I would suggest even playing it with less than four players if you would like, because it gives you a more intimate and personal setting. Maybe go do away with the judging aspect, and you simply use the cards as prompts. Now, that being said, this game is like, <clears throat> it's a game, but it's more of, in my opinion, an activity in which you're going to utilize to try and ice break, to try and get to know people. And learn about people. And maybe there's a person you specifically don't know about, or people, a group of people. Maybe it's new coworkers, or if you're a boss at your job and you just got that boss or that title, right, that position, you can go ahead and utilize this game to kind of discuss with your fellow coworkers. I don't know, it, it, it maybe take out some of the cards if they're a little too personal, but it's a good way of getting to know people and being able to better understand them and interact with them. And understanding people is very, very highly going to help you become more personable with these people. And that is what you're going to be utilizing this game game for. It does have a, an, an interesting amount of fun. It's got an interesting amount of like 
learning and educational value, as well as, of course, just getting to understand the different types of stories and things you probably wouldn't know about some specific person that you are interested in learning about. Uh, this is also a game that you could play during a party situation that could involve drinks in some way. It does play similar to Cards Against Humanity. I mean, it, it functionally is the same as those apples to apples style games as far as the rules go, but because of the storytelling aspect and the prompts, adding in more flavor, and instead of just judging on the best card or whatever, this is going to function more on who tells the most interesting and lively story, who can be humorous and entertaining. And so because of that, it's going to set the game slightly apart from those games in that way. However, if you already own those card games, they do perform as a type of icebreaker. This one may or may not be for you, and it's gonna be more on a personal choice. This is a game I would specifically bring out with new people that I haven't met before, in a game situation or a party situation that I want to kind of take a low-key, low, low key, like, laid-back approach to understanding them and getting to know them better before we jump into something a little more heavy. It's also something that's going to work well for older individuals. So if you're sitting down playing with grandma and grandpa, this would be a great type of a game. Or maybe even at a nursing home, getting to know people if your grandmother's new to that thing. You know, it's one of those type of a things. So realistically, it's going to have a very specific audience. It's not a game I'm going to bring out quite often. Like, it's not a game I play every day especially because of the replayability value. Once you've gone through most of all the cards with a specific group of individuals, you're not going to want to go ahead and go through those cards again with those individuals because those are the same type of stories you'll be telling over and over again. And in fact, this is one of those games I even highly suggest after playing it with your specific game groups. If you don't see like you're going to get any more use out of it, pass it on to somebody else. Then that way they will be allowed, they will allow themselves to be able to tell their stories with their new groups and whatnot. So anyway, Top Tale. It's one of those games where it's like I'm right in the middle with it. There's certain times I would use it, certain times where I couldn't see myself playing the game, but it definitely has its place in the board gaming industry, and it's something I would strongly suggest you take a look at down below on Kickstarter if this game is interesting to you. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game or card game or activity style review for the game Top Tail. Go ahead and check out the link down below in the description if you want to pick up the game on Kickstarter. Another little scenario I almost forgot is teachers utilizing this in a classroom situation. This might be something that would be good for them. Supposing that you went through all the cards and made sure to take any ones out that might be a little more. I don't think there was any risk. I went through all of them and they all seem fairly, fairly straightforward and things that you can utilize with kids. So uh, realistically, if you're in a high school setting, you can probably use this with your kids. But regardless, something that you can think about. As well as checking our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter list, and artist page. There is a giveaway page. There's a ton of stuff on that website. New blogs are coming out, as well as the Cali Corner videos for written, uh, if you're, you're written, enjoyment if you don't want to watch the videos themselves on the channel go ahead and check that out as well as go ahead and hit up our live stream every wednesday 6 30 p.m pst we give away games we play games live just like this one every wednesday we've been doing it for years and we'd love to have you guys jump on board and watch our stream as well as interact in certain ways you'll be able to win games live on stream and join the community so i strongly suggest it well as long as patreon join patreon as well give us a buck it helps us with shipping out all the games we give away on the streams as well as you get to learn new information about games like moonshell and other unique games we have designers come on and design our guests and whatnot so it's a good reason to go ahead and join us there all right guys that's all i got for you this time and as always i enjoy telling top tales with you next time